Welcome to The Herd. I'm your host, Mariah Stevens. For this first segment, I'm going to ask Taryn and Jordan what they've heard over the last week. So first, welcome, ladies. Hi. Hi. So what have you guys heard? Well, we heard about the robbery at the Loaf and Jug that happened recently. Um, and it was really, like, well, it happened on university, which is really close to campus. And um, he, it was weird because the suspect only took less than $100, which oh, to right. me is a little weird. Yeah. But it freaked me out when I heard it because it's literally so close to my dorm. Oh, yeah. And I go there all the time. And that just freaked me out. Yeah, and I guess he used a steak knife, was it? Yeah. A steak knife, yeah. So that's kind of like a this weird tool. With tool. Yeah. yeah. No one was hurt, though, so that's good. Okay, so that's good. Just and then threatened. did they, I haven't heard, have they caught him at all? I don't feel like, I don't know if they have even have the suspect in custody. I don't no. think so. No, okay. I think it's still going on. So that's really, I mean, I don't know. The loaf and jug, I feel like, is a like an NDSU student mm -hmm. staple location. Yeah. I feel, you know, if it's, especially people who, like you, Jordan, who live on campus, yeah. you know, late at night, you know, oh, I'm thirsty, I want to sit, where do we go? We walk to the loaf. Yeah. And so, I mean, how does that make you feel? I mean, this isn't something you hear about often, but it still happens, so. Um, it makes me really uncomfortable because before, I mean, I never felt comfortable walking there alone just because I'm a girl and at night it gets kind of creepy. Right. But I would go there with like one or two other like girlfriends and now I feel like I don't even feel safe doing yeah. that now. So. At least like um, his weapon of choice wasn't a gun because yeah. I feel like that could make, like that True. would like make it inclined so much more to be like way scarier. Yeah. Um, and the fact that it was a steak knife, I don't know, maybe he was like, it makes you think maybe he was like under the influence of something yeah. because that's not really that intimidating. Like, no. I mean, I, I guess like, I mean, if I was a cashier, like I'd sure like, I'd be like scared obviously right. because you wouldn't want him to like jump over the counter or something. Yeah. But um, I would definitely be like, I don't know. Right. And I wonder too, I mean, I feel like people who plan, who are, I guess, seasoned criminals, that sounds really bad, but I mean, they kind of plan things out. And I think, you know, just from watching crime shows like Wanted SVU and stuff like that, I, I almost feel like this was um, not sporadic, but yeah, kind of like he didn't plan this. I feel like it was kind of a last minute, like, yeah. oh, I could really use some money right now. Let me go rob the loaf and jug. Like, because that's not, and it, based on uh, the description of the suspect too, I mean, they didn't say anything about him having a mask or anything. Yeah. So clearly his identity, concealing yeah. his identity wasn't a, important to him, I yeah, guess. Yeah, maybe he just needed a, a quick couple bucks. Yeah, <laughs> especially if it was less than 100. Do you know how many people were in the um, place when it happened? I don't, I didn't hear of. I don't know if there was, I mean, it was at one in the morning, so I, I mean, I can't imagine it was too heavily populated. Yeah, um, unless it's on so, the weekends, whenever I feel like a lot of people are there late yeah. on the weekends. Yeah. Right, yeah. no, exactly. But I really, I mean, I think I'll probably still go to the loaf. Oh, I might yeah. Yeah. do it more in daylight hours. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I think, I mean, you think about it too, one in the morning, that's when there are gonna be less people there, so that's maybe mm -hmm. why that was no and the that, yeah. that's why he probably was under the influence because right. it was one in the morning yeah like, with the steak like knife. a late night bad decision like, I'm not even <laughs> know. and he needed like a certain amount i feel like so yeah no exactly all right well that is it for this segment when we come back we are actually going to discuss with you some college life hacks to make college a little bit easier for you stay tuned The future is constantly unfolding. No one knows better than those preparing for it. Every week, NDSU's student-run television organization, the Bison Information Network, brings you SUTV News, with news about NDSU, the campus community, and current events affecting you. Watch SUTV News on Cable One. 
Channel 14. Friday and Saturday at 9 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. Deke's Pizza. Prices with a student in mind. Fast delivery and conveniently open until 3 a.m. Order by phone at 701-235-0708. Order online at deekspizza.com or order with Deke's easy-to-use mobile app. NDSU. Make Deke's your choice for pizza this semester. That's Deke's. Great pizza that won't empty your pockets. are in college, you always want to know any kind of tips or tricks that can make your busy student life a little bit easier. So I have Taryn and V here, and they're going to give you some of BuzzFeed.com's 36 college life hacks. So what are the life hacks for college students that you guys have for us today? Well, <clears throat> one that I heard about was the coffee maker one. Um, that was one that I read about and thought was pretty interesting. I am a daily coffee drinker, so um, <laughs> this would definitely come in handy. And it, I should have read this my freshman year when I was in the dorms. It would have helped out a lot. But um, what you need to do for this is have a styrofoam cup and a mug, a rubber band, a coffee filter, and um, some water. And some coffee, obviously. Um, <laughs> and then you cut the bottom out of the styrofoam cup and turn it upside down. And um, <clears throat> the stuff will filter down through the coffee cup. And then you um, load as much coffee if you like it really mm -hmm. dark, which I do. So you put, like, <laughs> a, I would put a lot of coffee in there. Yeah. And then um, set the cup on top of the mug. And then you um, microwave some water for about three minutes. And then pour it through the coffee filter. And you have... Coffee. Wow. Yeah. I would have never thought to do that. That's really cool. Uh, another idea, I just can you like somehow wrap the coffee in the coffee filter and like soak it in the hot water? Like a tea bag? Oh, yeah, like a tea bag. bag. Would that I work? I don't know. I've, I've never tried that. Like that would be <laughs> no cool. Like, I wonder. Yeah. I almost feel like coffee is more, is a little too dense, I yeah. think. Oh. So yeah. then it might be, or like it's too, it would be too heavy, I think, to make like a Coffee tea bag. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that was that was an excellent, <laughs> excellent <laughs> thought. Yeah. Okay, what else do you have? Um, another one was a way to maximize your closet space, which I thought this one was very cool, and I actually might take it into consideration. <laughs> um, what you do is you have the hanger, and then you take like the top off of like a, a can of pop, mm -hmm. and um, you put it like around the hanger, and then you can hang another hanger on that. Other loop. Yeah. 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 Huh. So that's, I thought that was really cool. And yeah. it's definitely something like I need a little more closet space. So <laughs> yeah. it's definitely something that I would take into consideration to trying. That's really cool. Yeah. That's really, what about you, V? What do you have for us? Um, the first thing I have is when you're living in the domes, you can't exactly like pound nail, nails into the walls. Mm -hmm. So then I would suggest like having like colorful tapes. And you can buy tapes with like uh, neon colors or patterns mm -hmm. and using those to like frame your pictures so then like you have something colorful and yeah. it, it cannot come off the wall easily and right. won't damage the wall. Wow, so, that's really cool. Yeah. And the second thing I have is about reheating pizza because I feel like we eat a lot of pizza when we're yeah. in college, <laughs> like on yes. a daily. Right. <laughs> and like when you reheat pizza, um, they suggest like putting a cup of water with your pizza and then when you reheat it, it won't make the pizza crust so chewy. Oh, it'll yeah. keep it like yeah. crunchy, I guess. Yeah. Crispy. Yeah. <laughs> crispy. Yeah, I actually just tried that recently. Like after I read that, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try that because really? I had some leftover pizza. Yeah. <laughs> it did help. So Really? Yeah. And did. I guess it also that's supposed to help. Like I know sometimes the toppings on pizza can get really dried out too if you are like reheating it. Yeah. Um, so it's supposed to, is it supposed to help with that too, I think? Yeah. 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 That's really cool. Those yeah. are really neat tips. I think 
And yeah, I think some of those two can even apply, like especially the Mac, the closet space one, yeah. um, can apply to anyone, not just in a residence hall. And the other thing too with that is I almost wonder with the pop tabs, depending on the size of your hanger, if you could even put more than one hanger yeah. on that pop tab. So you yeah, could have like, like metal four. hangers are like a lot skinnier. Right. Yeah. Stuff, so. And then you could have like four things in the space of one. That <laughs> yeah. would be really nice. And especially too, and it is especially helpful for the residence halls because you have, or the dorms, because you have, I mean, you have such limited space, but yeah. you're you're moving, you know, your whole life into a new location, so you need into a little you know, little tiny a little space. Bo right? Yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> now, those are really cool tips, and thank you guys so much for sharing those with us. Thank you for watching. Uh, and when we come back, we are actually going to talk about some health tips that you can use after the Thanksgiving holiday. The future is constantly unfolding. No one knows better than those preparing for it. Every week, NDSU's student-run television organization, the Bison Information Network, brings you SU TV news with news about NDSU, the campus community, and current events affecting you. Watch SU TV news on Cable One, Channel 14, Friday and Saturday at 9 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. Jitters is the NDSU Campus Community's Coffee Hub. Conveniently located right next to campus, Jitters Coffee has a wide range of amenities, including comfortable seating, Wi-Fi, and an assortment of beverages. Jitters is here to meet your needs, whether you're looking to relax and socialize or study in a rich, active environment. Be sure to make your way over for your morning brew, a bite at lunch, or for a break between classes. Get your fix only at Jitters. Deke's Pizza, prices with a student in mind. Fast delivery and conveniently open until 3 a.m. Order by phone at 701-235-0708. Order online at deekspizza.com or order with Deke's easy to use mobile app. NDSU, make Deke's your choice for pizza this semester. That's Deke's, great pizza that won't empty your pockets. Welcome back. Now, with Thanksgiving coming up in just a few short days, I have Jordan here to give you some post-Thanksgiving tips that you can start implementing right away on Fridays. Thank you, Jordan, for being here again. Yeah, no problem. So what are the tips you have for us as far as getting healthy right after Thanksgiving? Okay, so there's five specific tips that I'm going to talk about today. Okay. And one is just first off, be gentle to yourself, relax. It's a holiday. It's Thanksgiving. You're yeah. supposed to eat. Don't ruin it by trying not to enjoy it. Right. So just relax because you don't want to stress yourself out because stress is not healthy for you and then once you get back clear your fridge try not to bring any um, leftovers back okay. I mean even if you have kids I know it's gonna be hard but don't bring any leftovers back <laughs> clean out your fridge yeah. and then three is go to the grocery store and then buy healthy food okay so some of the great options would be fruits veggies especially green veggies mm -hmm. um, low-fat meats and dairy products whole grains and then fish and nuts that's really good for you um, Four, try to limit your trips to like restaurants and stuff because going out to eat is probably one of the worst things you can do to you all the time. So I know a lot of people don't have time to do home cooked meals, but right. try it. It'll help you so much. Yeah. And then when you make when you eat treats, I know everyone gets hungry throughout the day. Just try to make them as healthy as possible. Grab some almonds or grapes. Don't just pick up the bag of potato chips. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the last one, which is the hardest for everyone, is working out because yeah. no one has time for that anymore. I feel like your day is just go, 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 and you never can fit in that extra right. hour. So just try going three times a week, and if that doesn't work, get a workout buddy, your yeah. best friend, 
anyone just to help you get motivated. Right. Because if you see someone else doing it, you're going to want to do it. Yeah. And I think especially, you know, after Thanksgiving, everyone is kind of feeling a little bit of guilt, even yeah. if, you know, you don't want to, you want to indulge. Because, I mean, Thanksgiving is a time to be with family and just to, like, indulge and to have fun. Yeah. But everyone has that little bit of guilt at the end. So I, I feel like right after Thanksgiving would be a great time to find, I feel like it would also be, like, the easiest time to find a yeah. workout buddy because everyone's like, okay, I, you know, I don't want to go alone, but I kind of need to go. And so. I feel like a lot of people go on vacations in the winter, so Ooh, it's yeah. like, hopefully... That will help you get motivated because right. your vacation's coming up. Because I know February is a really big year because the trips are a little cheaper. Oh then. yeah, and also with spring break too. Mm -hmm. You know, you people like to give themselves a couple months, and Thanksgiving is usually the last like hurrah that yeah. they have before they gotta get cute. I know I have a friend who is going to the Bahamas with her boyfriend oh, for gosh. spring break, and so all she's like, she's like, I can't eat that. <laughs> I can't eat this. Thanksgiving is the only time I'm gonna have a lot of food, and then I have to eat super clean so I can look really yeah. good. And, I'm gonna. I'm going on vacation. In, um, during Christmas break, and I'm okay. like, Thanksgiving's the last time I can pick out, and right. then after that, I'm going to try not to eat treats all the right. time. You're going to crack down. Exactly. It's super clean. Well, those are really good tips. Uh, is there anything else that you'd like to share with us? Um, no, I think that's everything. Just try to stay positive, and if you say no, it will happen. Yeah, exactly. Be in control. Be in control. That's a really good, really good way to wrap up. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Jordan. Yeah. When we come back, we are going to talk a little bit about some winter fashions. We'll have Jordan back and we'll also have these, so stay tuned. Jitters is the NDSU Campus Communities Coffee Hub. Conveniently located right next to campus, Jitters Coffee has a wide range of amenities, including comfortable seating, Wi-Fi, and an assortment of beverages. Jitters is here to meet your needs, whether you're looking to relax and socialize or study in a rich, active environment. Be sure to make your way over for your morning brew, a bite at lunch, or for a break between classes. Get your fix only at Jitters. Hey, I'm Mariah, and I'm at bus because not only does it save me money, but with 20 different routes, it makes getting around Fargo much more convenient. I'm at bus, do you? Deke's Pizza, prices with a student in mind. Fast delivery and conveniently open until 3 a.m. Order by phone at 701-235-0708. Order online at deekspizza.com or order with Deeks' easy-to-use mobile app. NDSU. Make Deeks your choice for pizza this semester. That's Deeks. Great pizza that won't empty your pockets. <laughs> Welcome back. Now that we've had our first snowfall, it's time to kind of adjust our wardrobes to the dropping temperatures. So Jordan and V are here. They're going to give you the rundown of the top fashion trends for winter. So ladies, what do you have for us? Well, our first style we're going to talk about is the long wool coats. Okay. I see them, like, they're coming back more and more. Yeah. And I love them personally because I think it's so cute when you see someone with a long button-down jacket with, like, the tights and the skirt with yeah. the high boots. I just think it looks so classy and cute. Yeah. I do like the wool coat. I think it looks real, really classy, but it's not practical, I feel like, for the North okay. Dakotan winter yeah. because I did have a couple of wool coats, and I was always freezing when I wore really? them. Really? Okay. So now I've just gone back to, like, the coats that made me look like I'm in fifth grade, the really, like, puffy <laughs> coat. Puffy, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's interesting, and I almost wonder, too, if when you look at fashion forecasts, if, I mean, I don't know if they're always 
able to, like they're not like adjustable for the entire country. I feel like they're more for specific climates because mm -hmm. those magazines tend to come out of more like East Coast or like West Coast where they don't have those yeah. extreme differences. Yeah, more so, mild winters. Right, exactly. And in the fashion world, I feel like you have to experience pain to look cute. Like <laughs> yeah. you, know, you look like right. anything. You have to. As long as you look at it, it doesn't matter yeah. how you yeah, feel. Yeah, exactly. But when it's like negative 30 degrees, like wind chill, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look like a fifth grader. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm, I, I, I wear that my fifth grade coat more than a cute coat. Yeah. yeah. It's just not worth it here. No, I'm exactly. not ready for this one, too. <laughs> <laughs> and what else do you guys have for us? Um, our second one is leather jackets. Okay. Um, this is one of my favorites as well because before I never really saw them or like was into them. Right. But recently I've been seeing more and more and like they have like, it's not just like black leather jackets, it's like brown, white. And I think they're really cute and like, um, a lot of people think they can't pull them off because they're not like edgy enough. Yeah. But I mean, I feel like I couldn't. So <laughs> if I just got like a white one and like a cute shirt with skinny jeans, yeah. I feel like it would look really cute. Right. Yeah. And I love leather jackets because it makes me feel like a badass. <laughs> and I feel like when girls wear it, it gives them this attitude, mm -hmm. yeah. especially if you wear it with like some leather riding boots yeah. too. Ooh, yeah. So it's just a whole like, I feel like I, you can take over the world. Yeah, mm -hmm. like I need to go get a tattoo and like hop on my motorcycle. So. <laughs> right, like it toughens you up a little bit. Yeah. And I think too, you know, for those who want to have that kind of adopt that sort of persona you know you can definitely make it look really edgy and really cool but I am not edgy nor am I that cool so I think I would definitely find myself kind of softening it by maybe putting it over like a dress with like tights mm -hmm. or you know like a nice blouse or something so yeah. it's still you know the level of style is still there but it's not like Huh, uh, yeah. I don't know, like rocker chick or <laughs> and, whatever. And once again, it's not gonna work well with this North Dakota weather. I almost feel like that would be a piece where, you like, put it you, under your jacket. Yeah, so yeah. like that'd be because I feel like maybe in the fall and like spring that could just be what yep. you wear. But for this time, that would be like the cute thing you'd be wearing under mm -hmm. your coat. Yeah. So like people would see it in class at least. You look like a fifth know. grader. You take it off. You look yeah. like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. All right. So what else do we have? Um, our last one is the big oversized sweaters that have been oh, around yeah. forever, but I feel like they just seem to keep coming back. In. Right. Yep. Yeah. They are very comfortable, but I feel like it's like last year I wore a lot of like baggy sweaters and like yeah. off the shoulder sweaters. Right. Mm -hmm. But this year I feel like the new trend is the boy boyfriend shirts or the boyfriend button up oh, shirts like yeah. this one. Okay. So then I it's still loose and it's still really comfortable, but right. I feel like it makes you look more mature because it has that collar and that button up. Okay. So it's like you're kind of in the office, but right. you just <laughs> woke up. Yeah. <laughs> so you're saying carry, still carry with the oversized trend, but yeah. you think that maybe for older girls, more mature women, yeah. uh, to go with like the oversized button-down shirt rather than the sweater. Yeah. All right. Well, those are really good tips. Thank you guys so much. Yeah. When we come back, we're going to have our last segment here. We're going to talk about some movie predictions, so stay tuned. The future is constantly unfolding. No one knows better than those preparing for it. Every week, NDSU's student-run television organization, the Bison Information Network, brings you SUTV News, with news about NDSU, the campus community, and current events affecting you. Watch SUTV News on Cable One, Channel 14, Friday and Saturday at 9 p.m., and Saturday and Sunday at 9 a.m. Deke's Pizza, prices with a student in mind. Fast delivery and conveniently open until 3 a.m. Order by phone at 701-235-0708. Order online at deekspizza.com or order with Deke's easy to use mobile app. NDSU, make Deke's your choice for pizza this semester. That's Deke's, great pizza that won't empty your pockets.
Welcome back. Now for Bison Culture today, we're going to do something a little bit different. I have Taryn and B here. What we're going to do is we're each going to say a movie that we plan on seeing in the next week or so, our predictions for the movie, and then we'll check back in and see if our predictions match to our reality. So Taryn, what movie do you want to see and why? Well, this movie has been out for a little while, and it's actually playing in the Safari Theater right now, which is usually when movies have been out for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I really want to see Despicable Me 2 okay. because um, I really like the first one, and any movie that can like make me laugh and is like heartwarming, I really yeah. want to see that because I can't watch scary movies and like funny movies that are like cute. Are yeah. definitely my favorite so well i still haven't seen it my mom took my brother to see it without me when i was at home so i will gladly go see it with you yeah <laughs> all right v what movie would you like to see i'm actually going to see this movie tomorrow and it's um the what is it the hunger games yeah two. the hunger games too yeah catching, catching fire, fire. <laughs> okay <laughs> and the first one, I didn't like it as much, and oh, I okay. thought like it was cheap, and like I didn't get the storyline because I did not like read the book. Okay. But this one, I'm really excited about because I heard it was really good, yeah. and even from people who haven't read the book, and just like from critics too. Yeah. So I'm just. Ultra. No, yeah, and I heard, I heard yeah. even you know, for people who did or did not read the book, this one is. Uh, there are still some things that missed from the book, but it's a lot truer to the book, yep. and that it's the storyline is a lot like it's fuller, it's richer. So yeah. I'm excited to see it yeah. too. Yep. After I saw the um, first movie, I actually read all the books because I wanted to get like a better idea of what right. was going on. And the books really hook you, and I don't know if the yeah. movie did it justice for yeah. the, okay. the first yeah. one, so I'm excited. I, I want to see yeah. Catching Fire too. I'm really excited to see Black Nativity. Uh, first of all, it's rated PG, which means my dad will actually come see it with us. Uh, he's really picky about movies. Uh, it's also a musical. I don't feel like you can go wrong with a musical. And it has like Mary J. Blige and like Jennifer Hudson, so it's yeah. got like Ooh, Jennifer. The singers, right? I mean, these are, yeah. so yeah. I don't know, and I, okay, I'll be honest, I don't really know the premise, but my mom is really excited to see it, and she's excited <laughs> for me to come home and see it with her, uh, and so when I looked up who was in it, that got me more excited. I feel like, yeah. you know, when you, sometimes movies can be more exciting when you know who's going to be in it, you have like those actors or yep. actresses yeah. that you love to see. All right, well, that is all the time that we have for today. Thank you guys so much for being here. Yeah, thank we'll you for having me. Yeah, it was fun. Know, next week or the week after and see how these movies turned out. <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching and being here with us today. We will see you next week. Have a great Thanksgiving.